Hey folks, this is Gabe at security.org and today we're taking a fresh look at the Vivint home security system. In today's look at the Vivint home security system, I'm gonna go over some pros and cons, the system components, the feature set, the installation process, the mobile app experience, the user experience before answering some frequently asked questions and letting you know exactly who I think Vivint is for. If you'd like to get all the details on the Vivint home security system, check out my comprehensive written review at security.org. There you'll find comparisons with other leading home security systems, along with tips on how to keep you and your family safe. Once again, this could all be found at security.org. Let's kick off today's review of the Vivint Home Security System, going over some pros and cons, beginning with the pros. Now, I have to point out that it is incredibly comprehensive and integrated system. Vivint system not only protects you indoors in terms of entry sensors and motion sensors, but also outdoors with the doorbell, the outdoor camera, the lock. There are just a lot of elements that work and function together really well. On top of that, I can see everything happening with my Vivint Smart hub so i can go to the smart hub i can see what doors are open what windows are open the door is unlocked or locked i can look and see uh, who's at the door just on the panel now on top of all of this you have the ability to control all of that see all of that from your mobile application so wherever you are in the world i can log into my vivint app and see uh, who's there i can unlock the doors for friends i can turn off cameras uh, if necessary turn them on all of that is able to be done directly from the mobile app now, when it comes to cons, there is no DIY installation option. With Vivint, there's only a professional installation option. So if you're the kind of person who wants to do it all yourself, you're not going to have that ability. Additionally, this pricing is not exactly transparent. So if you want to build out your system, it's not like you can do it online and know the exact price. You're going to have to give them a call, talk to a representative, and then you can build it out and get an idea of how much the system is going to cost you. Well, hold on. I hope you're enjoying today's updated look at the Vivint home security system. If you want to get up to date on the newest in home security systems, home security cameras, and identity theft protection, subscribe to our channel, security.org. We're dropping new content weekly. All right, let's get back to the video. Now I want to talk about system components with the Vivint Home Security System. Now that is a super expansive, customizable system. You're going to want to talk to a Vivint rep to build out the system exactly as you like it, exactly as you need it. But I want to start with some of the core components, beginning with the Vivint Smart Hub. Now this Smart Hub goes in your wall and lets you see exactly what's taking place inside of your home, not just with the other core components like your sensors, but even with your cameras, uh, you can see exactly what's happening and they're all going to be integrated together. Now, on top of that, you're gonna look at your entry sensors, your door window sensors. They'll let you know basically if any of your doors or windows are breached, if anyone opens them, so you know exactly what's taking place. Then you have your motion sensor. The motion sensor goes inside of your home, it's gonna detect any motion uh, in the case that someone actually is already inside of your home. You can also employ a number of cameras with your Vivint home security system. You got the ping indoor camera, letting you keep an eye of what's going on indoors. You have the Vivint outdoor camera, which gives you a wide view of exactly what's taking place outside. And even the doorbell camera from Vivint itself lets you know exactly every single person that's come up to your front porch, even if they don't even ring the doorbell. On top of that, there are a wide array of other devices that help keep your home safe and protected. You've got the quick set smart lock uh, that basically works natively with the Vivint Home Security System, allowing you to let people in or keep them out. You also have your CO sensor, your water sensor, your smoke sensor, even a thermostat that Vivint provides to make you have exactly the system that you wanna have. Now that we've gone over the system components of the Vivint Home Security System, I wanna talk about its feature set beginning with professional monitoring. Now professional monitoring is that team of experts 24-7 uh, there to help you in case something potentially goes wrong and they need to alert the authorities. Now with Vivint, your professional monitoring is gonna come in at $39.99 a month. Uh, this can give you remote control of your system and that team of experts there to help you uh, in case something goes wrong. Now, there are a number of ways in which you can actually arm 
arm and disarm your system with Vivint. You can, of course, use your mobile application to arm and disarm. You can use the Vivint Smart Hub so you get that nice visual, or you can actually use the integrations with smart platforms like Google and Amazon to arm and disarm your Vivint home security system using just your voice. Now, if you wanna share access to the Vivint home security system and give other users ability to arm and disarm the system, you can do so pretty easily inside of the Vivint mobile application. The Vivint Home Security System and its devices are gonna be providing you with a ton of information. Uh, you actually have an activity timeline that you can see on your Vivint Smart Hub or in mobile application. It's gonna let you know exactly when each device or sensor was activated. It even allows you to bypass those sensors, allows you to hear what sound goes off when those sensors are activated. It can be a chime, it can be a missile warning sign. You have tons of different uh, sounds available for you. And you can actually go ahead and set up your own custom rules and actions. This will allow for you for example, uh, to have your front door lock open each time the CO sensor goes off to let people get out of the house quickly. Or if every night you wanna ensure that uh, you've locked the front door, well, you can just have it lock the front door at midnight every night. These are all options to you with the tremendous amount of customization found with Vivint. In addition to all the information you're gathering from your various Vivint components, you're going to gather even more with the visual elements added by the various Vivint cameras. There you can look at the live streaming and recording of various clips, either from the smart hub directly on your wall or your mobile application. Beginning with the Ping indoor camera from Vivint, you're gonna get 1080p high definition video, infrared LEDs providing for a solid night vision and a 155 degree field of view. So no matter day or night, you're gonna get a nice uh, live stream or recording. And speaking of that recording, it's going to detect motion and take 20 second smart clips whenever that happens. When it comes to the outdoor camera with Vivint, you're gonna get 1080p high definition video with a 4K sensor. You get a 140 degree field of view and a 55 foot night vision capacity, uh, which I've seen in my own case, it can really see pretty far in the dark. On top of that, it has a smart sensor capability, which means that if someone's lurking around your home, it actually will make a sound and light up the LED ring to let people know, hey, I'm here, I'm watching you, uh, to kind of prevent things before they happen. And speaking of that watching, it's gonna require record events from 10 to 90 seconds whenever it detects motion. Now when it comes to your Vivint Video Doorbell, you're gonna get 720p high definition video, two infrared LEDs so you can see what's happening at night, and a 180 degree field of view, so you're basically not gonna miss anything. On top of that, you have two-way talk and smart visitor recording, which means that even if someone doesn't ring the doorbell, which sets off a video in itself, uh, the moment that someone actually approaches your door, it does begin recording a 30 second clip. When it comes to viewing and saving your clips, you have the ability to go back 14 days uh, and download each clip, save it directly to your device, and that's gonna be $5 per camera. Now, if that's not enough, if you want continuous recording of what's going on, you can do so with Vivint Smart Drive. That's gonna give you 30 days of continuous recording 24 seven within the one terabyte Smart Drive, and it's gonna support up to four cameras. Now I wanna point out that Vivint actually has pretty broad integrations. It integrates with things like the Quick Set Smart Lock, so you can have a little bit of extra power to control exactly who's getting in and out of your home. It even integrates with Nest thermostats, allowing for you to create that nice, comfortable environment inside of your home, and even things like Philips Hue lights, which we all know can serve uh, to be kind of turned on randomly to help add another extra layer of protection to your home. Finally, looking at customer support, Vivint does give you a number of options for getting the help that you need. So you can first go to the support page and probably find the solution to whatever questions or problems you may be experiencing. But beyond that, Vivint does a great job of making sure that you get in touch with an actual person. Now, of course, that means you can send an email or do live chat, but you can really just get someone on the phone and they're going to ensure that you find the answer that you need. This starts from the very beginning when they come and professionally install the system, the people are quite professional, answer all the questions you may have, even to the person on the phone who's trying to get the answers that you seek for whatever questions you may have regarding getting the most out of your Vivint home security system.
Now let's talk about installation with your Vivint Home Security System. And really there's no process for you other than making the appointment and making sure you're at home. Uh, they're gonna come to your house. They're incredibly professional. They even put little booties over their shoes to ensure that they don't track anything into your home, keep it nice and clean. Then they're gonna do all the drilling and installing of your doorbell, of anything else that you might have uh, with your particular system. For me, for example, it's my doorbell camera, my outdoor camera, my indoor camera, my various components, all of that they're gonna set up. And not only that, they're gonna wait and be patient with you and explain how each element works in conjunction with another down to your smart hub. So overall, really enjoyable experience with the professional installation on the Vivint Home Security System. Now that we've got this thing installed, let's go ahead and check out the mobile application for Vivint, the Vivint Smart Home app. Now people seem to generally be enjoying this experience. It has a 4.4 out of 5 star rating in the Google Play Store and a 4.6 out of 5 star rating in the Apple App Store. Let's go ahead and check it out on my iPhone 7 Plus. So here I am checking out the Vivint mobile application on my iPhone. Now you'll see right off the bat, I'm in the security section. You have different options here. You'll see the huge icon for disarmed uh, because I'm currently disarmed, but I can arm and disarm. And you'll see a little chat bubble up in the top. It says the living room window two is open. Now I'm leaving that open uh, to give you a couple of options and seeing how the system can work. Uh, and because it's just a beautiful day in Brooklyn. So let's go ahead and check out what that's like. So I'm holding it down. I can drag it to the left uh, if I want to uh, basically have it stay armed, uh, which means that my motion sensors will be off, but my entry sensors will be ready to alert me if someone comes in. And you have leaving, and leaving actually turns every single element of your system on alert. But let's go ahead and put it on staying. So now you'll see, once again, it tells you the living room window two is open, so I can actually continue to arm the system, but closing and opening that will not trigger an alarm, uh, which is really great. And it's actually really useful for me because that's actually the window that people really can't get to uh, for my apartment. So let's go ahead and cancel that. And if you look directly below that, I have my front door lock is currently locked. You know, I don't even be able to walk in uh, as I'm filming, uh, but if I wanted to unlock that, I can do so just by tapping it over. So now I am actually unlocked. And if you look, I can go right back, lock it right back. Boom, done, great. And now let's go ahead and jump in and look at some of our cameras with the Vivint Home Security System. Now you'll see here with Vivint, uh, you have a few different options. You have uh, the doorbell, the front yard, and the indoor camera. So let's go ahead and check out the live view on the indoor camera. So here we are checking out the indoor camera. Uh, you can see things really well. Um, you can see me, uh, we, we can record here, we can take photos, you can see it's a live view. Uh, we can even go into a landscape mode. Uh, so a lot of options for you right here in the live view on the Vivint Cam. Let's go ahead and jump out of here. And you can go into look at the front yard. You can see someone walking off in the distance. Uh, it's pretty, I love this, I love this angle for some reason. And then you also have the doorbell cam, which lets you know exactly what's happening right in front of my front door uh, in Brooklyn. Uh, so you can see pretty well. Um, you can see it's a beautiful day. Uh, no one walking by for once. Uh, that's you know not common for this block. Uh, you know, 250,000 people live in this neighborhood, I think. Uh, so let's go ahead and come out of here. And voila, you have a lot of flexibility uh, in terms of uh, going in and out of the various views of what's taking place in your home. If I wanna go look at events, I can go look at every single person that this particular device detected, for example. Uh, really useful. But you, we're thinking, well, I'm looking at these different events. What about all the events in general? Well, we go to our third tab. Uh, that's our activity tab. Uh, this lets you know exactly what's taking place. So the front door was locked and unlocked, motion was detected, a uh, person was detected. You get every single thing that's taken place um, throughout the course of the day. Now, very briefly, I wanna go look at uh, some of our settings for each one of these cameras. So if we look at our settings, we can go and look at our notifications. Here, uh, for example, for the doorbell, uh, we can decide, do I want to be notified if someone rings my doorbell? So yes, but do I want to be notified if a person's detected by my doorbell? Well, maybe not every single time uh, because you know that's a little that's a little extra. You know, it's Brooklyn, a lot of people walk by. I don't want to do that. And you can actually go on and create your own notification rules, which is really useful. And you can do this for each one of your devices, even down to the various chimes uh, that are available. So if I go to my front yard camera, for example, 
I have a number of different things that I can customize myself. And I can go into detection. Uh, right now it's got a high detection zone. I can actually change the zones of which I'm looking at things. For example, you'll see with me, I only want the detection to go all the way down to my actual stoop. I don't wanna be seeing everything that's taking place on the block, uh, and that's really useful for me. Additionally, you'll see that I'm you know, recording audio, but I can decide, you know what, I don't wanna be recording audio each time someone walks in front of my house, I don't wanna hear their entire conversation. And the last thing I'll point out with the indoor camera is you can actually go ahead and put it on privacy mode, which is useful, so that people uh, who want some privacy in your home, maybe people sleeping on your couch, for me, that's someone constantly, because I live in New York, people are always visiting, uh, I can actually have that privacy mode, so people can sleep on the couch and know that I'm not actually watching them from my bedroom. Now, if I go out of here, I can go uh, back into our settings and you can see that there are a number of custom actions that you can set up with the Vivint Home Security System. For example, you can have your front door unlock whenever a fire alarm is triggered or whenever the carbon monoxide is triggered so you're not worrying about the lock as you're trying to get out of your home. Uh, these little touches I think are really useful. Now, if I go ahead and look out, uh, for other elements, you'll see that I can go in directly to my devices and from here customize each one uh, the way I'd like it. For example, I'm always keeping my video quality and my bandwidth at the highest level with all of my cameras with the Vivint Home Security System. So that's our look at the Vivint Home Security System on my iPhone 11. Now I wanna show you the other major place you're gonna be using your Vivint Home Security System with the user experience look at the Vivint Smart Hub. So here I am checking out the user experience with my Vivint Smart Hub. Now you can see a lot right from the get-go on the Vivint Smart Hub. Here in the security uh, tab, the far left tab with your Vivint Smart Hub, you'll see that it tells me that, hey, the living room window two is open. It's a really nice day. I wanted to keep that window open. You can see the upper left-hand side tells you the date, the time, if it's sunny, uh, even how warm it is. It's a pretty warm day. I know 49 degrees is nothing for you out in California or Florida, but for us, it's a pretty nice day. And if you look here, I can actually go ahead and arm the system. So I go here, I can go to arm, and you'll see that it says system not ready to arm, and that's because one of my sensors, that window that we just spoke about, is open, but I can actually bypass that sensor and arm it anyway. But I don't wanna arm the system now, just go ahead and cancel that. And you can see right below that, you actually have the front door lock. Now you can see here from the icon that the door is locked. Uh, now if I wanted to unlock it, I could simply press that. And I don't know if you hear that, but my front door has unlocked. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and lock it back, I can just tap it again. Now, this is particularly useful at night when I'm like, oh, did I lock the front door? I'm not really sure. And maybe I haven't set up a smart integration for it to just lock by itself. Uh, so I can just go look directly and say, oh, okay, it's locked or unlocked. And I can unlock it and lock it at my heart's content. You know, if someone comes through, bring me some food, anything of that nature, boom, we're ready to go. Now, if we jump into cameras, uh, you can see the images from my front yard from a couple minutes ago, images from uh, my indoor camera, and you can even look at the various events. Now, we won't jump into those, but you can actually look at anything that's taken place um, right here on your smart hub. But let's go ahead and get that live view of the indoor camera. And voila, that is a live view. That's exactly what's taking place uh, just a few feet away from me right now in my uh, living room. And I can do the same um, for any of the other cameras that I have attached to my Vivint home security system. Now, the final thing I want to show you is this tab here. Now this is a really useful tab. You've got your panic, emergency, and fire. Now I'm not even going to pretend to hold these for two seconds because if you hold this for two seconds, you can basically uh, start on an intruder. I get that nice emergency siren with the panic. You can actually call emergency services or the fire department directly from the Vim and Smart panel. Uh, so that's a really useful element of this particular system and a thing I really love about the Smart Hub user experience. Now I want to answer some frequently asked questions regarding the Vivint home security system. Beginning with our first question, does the Vivint Smart Hub have a camera? And no, the Vivint Smart Hub does not have a camera. However, it can not only watch recordings, but also live streams of whatever's taking place on any of your Vivint cameras. And the next question is, does the Vivint doorbell have a battery? And the answer is no, the Vivint doorbell does not have a battery. They hardwire it into your home and it requires constant power. The final question is, does Vivint work with Google Home and Amazon Echo devices? And the answer is yes. The smart platforms from Google and Amazon both integrate with the Vivint Home Security System, allowing you to use your voice to do various actions.
All right, we've come a long way with our look at the Vivint Home Security System. And you're wondering, Gabe, exactly who is this system for? Well, the Vivint Home Security System is for that person who wants an expansive, comprehensive, but well-integrated system that simply works. I've had this system for well over a year now, and every single component just functions in the way it's meant to. And in ways, honestly, that often surprise me. On top of that, it has a well-devised mobile application. It's intuitive. It gives me control of every element of my system. I can go in my timeline, know exactly what's going on with each single component, and that's gonna happen regardless if you're on iPhone or Android. Finally, you want this system, but you don't wanna to have to lift a finger to get it. And that's what you're gonna get with the professional installation with the Vivint Home Security System. The team is really patient, really knowledgeable, and they're gonna make sure that you can get the most out of every component of your Vivint Home Security System. So that's a look at the Vivint Home Security System. If you have any questions or feedback, drop us a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And if you appreciated today's video, give us a like and uh, hit that subscribe button. As always, this is Gabe at security.org. Be secure.